Cheers, everybody. <laughs> hey, cheers, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze. It's Monday, Oddity Day, and we are going to get right into um, a brandy, and I'm not a big brandy fan, so, well, let me rephrase that. I like brandy. I like cognac better. Seems to be a little difference there, but we're going to uh, be doing a brandy here, but really quickly, want to take you to one of our partners who are um, partnering with this channel on a great cocktail uh, mixer for you, vodka, so check this out. Hey, Cody. How are you today? <laughs> so we're getting ready to um, work our cocktails for Friday, and um, some ingredients we um, tend to use a lot and vodka is one of them right yeah so uh, when I make uh, cocktails I really like a good vodka and we've used some different brands and everything but we discovered rain cane just recently and I poured you some and rain cane is probably one of the best vodkas we've had yeah it's been up there because you can no. And you're not going to get any burn up your nose. Yeah. It's, and it's not low proof or anything. It's 40% alcohol. Yeah. It's an 80 proof common vodka um, from uh, Alaska. Actually, it's not from Alaska. It's from California. But they use Alaskan glacier water. Um, it is... The, so the, there's caveman pee in this? Okay. <laughs> Mammoth. Mammoth. Um, I really a, get the giant sloth and mammoth in this. <laughs> Nobody's going to buy it now. Um, Why wouldn't you? That's I, I think cool. that this is what vodka should be. It is um, non-aroma, so it's not going to... Odorless, uh, colorless. Odorless, colorless. It actually tastes really good to me. It's got a... Yeah, it's, but not... It's a slight sweetness to it. Very, very um, slight. But it's not overwhelming, and I think this is what most bartenders look for in creating common um, cocktails. Now, yeah. if you're going to do a cocktail that requires a specific flavor profile that that vodka is going to intense or put into, like a flavored vodka, then that's yeah. different. But, but if you're wanting to make, say, a, a drink that also is alcoholic, but you don't want the alcohol to change the color or the, change the flavor with right. something weird and bitter, you use vodka because... It's supposed to be that. It's thing. supposed to be. And we've had people argue with us that no, vodka is supposed to taste like something. No, it's supposed to be odorless and tasteless. Well, yeah. And nothing's ever tasteless. Right. But. So um, we yeah. like Rain Cane. Um, and you can get this in the store for about $34 uh, a bottle, depending on your store. You can also get it online through Rain Cane for $34. But what I really like about Rain Cane is that you can order it online, and the more bottles you buy, the cheaper it is. And you can get on a subscription. So maybe you want to get a bottle every week or every month or every six weeks or whatever. And the more you um, put on your order, the less each cost. So if you get more than one bottle, so you get two bottles, then it's down to $31. Um, and they ship just about everywhere. Now, obviously, there's local laws um, that they have no control of. But if you are yeah. able to get uh, whiskey, or sorry, if you're able to get alcohol um, shipped to your house, um, which is most states, even here in Texas, um, then you can... Um, order this online. And if you do, um, there'll be a link below and that helps us out because we have partnered with them and we will um, continue to use Rain Cane and a lot of our cocktails that require vodka that um, don't need a specific style of flavor to it. Um, but it's a great, great uh, vodka. I think it's probably my favorite right now. There's always changes, but um, now there's flavored ones I like too, but this is my favorite plain vodka, and um, we'll continue to use it. So check it out and let us know what you think, but make sure you hit that link for your ability to get a discount through us on Rain Cane. All right. Have a great day, and we're going to start making cocktails. Cheers. Cheers. All right, um, so we are going to be looking at a Palmaison. We've done quite a few uh, E&Js and a couple Palmaison uh, brandies in the past. You can check those out in the Oddity, I think it's Liquors, Liqueurs, and Goodness um, playlist. But this is a Palmaison um, 
peach brandy. Peach. I am not a huge fan of peach, so I'm just a little bit uh, not too enthused about this. So hopefully um, this will change my mind. We did try a little sample. Uh, that's why it's open because we're doing some uh, kind of a blending thing with this. But I wanted to get a episode out to you. So Paul Maison, as you know them, uh, are probably more popular with their wines. And so wine to brandy is pretty easy jump if you ask me. Not that I've ever done that. I'm not in the business. But um, you have all that product from the wine that you can go and distill in the brandy. Uh, this is a 27 or 54% um, alcohol. And this handle here was only, I believe, 15, 16 bucks. Wasn't that expensive. Uh, it's one of the lower end brandies. In fact, brandy seems to be a really reasonable uh, value to me. Um, and a lot of cognacs are too. So Cody's got a question. Cody? Especially flavored brandies, oh, just like whiskey, yeah. but even more so on brandies. So I don't know if you heard that, but uh, Cody also says flavored brandy um, is cheaper, just like flavored whiskey. So uh, let's go ahead and give this a try. Now, I don't know what a brandy glass is. I'm assuming this is basically the same as a cognac glass because they're the fit same family. They're the same thing. So Cody's doing all sorts of weird stuff. I really should have been in this episode. Why? Because you just... Come on up! Screw it. You're so bad with brandy and cognac, you act like it's different, but... It's the same thing. It's like champagne and sparkling wine. Exactly. Cognac just has to be from the Cognac Valley. Yeah. So, here's Cody. He... I think this is generally what they make. Drink brandy out of cordial glasses. Oh. Well, I drink cognac out of this. You, yeah. But you would... It's... Just depends on what you okay. want to drink it out of, but that is a cognac or brandy glass because it's meant to be sniffed, cognac especially. Okay. But. So this is um, them drink out of this. a nice kind of reddish amber to it. Kind of a peachy yeah. color to it. Yeah, I guess. Like the center of the peach. It's pink, pinkish. Yeah, and it's strong with the peach. It is very potently peach. Very strong. Do you want some? Sure. Very strong with the peach. It's also overly sweet to me. And at 54%, there's no kick to it. And That's I would 54%. Have 54. Or 54 proof. It's 27%. Yeah, 27%. I figured there would be a little bit stronger alcohol to it. It's less than a liqueur. Yeah. A very sweet. Almost syrupy sweet to me. Strong pe uh, peach flavor. Would be good on pancakes. <laughs> yeah. Actually. And actually probably be good if you put this into a pork. Mixing this with um, maple would make a really good syrup. Pour it over some pork chops. Mm -hmm. Like you usually Ooh. do with pork chops. Could you put about peach? Huh? Don't you cook pork chops with peach? You can, yeah. I don't generally like my pork chops with fruit, but... Would I buy a handle of this? Probably not, but um, a seven fifty. we bought two. Yeah, we bought two. <laughs> so what we're actually doing with this is doing a little blending with some whiskey in a barrel. Um, and bought a couple handles because it's a big five-gallon barrel. But Plus, this will do well for cocktails. And this is going to age in that barrel for a few weeks, so we might get a little... Might we do another revisit? Yeah, might have a different flavor to it. Because you can get tons of small barrels, either from the five liter or even just essentially a handle size yeah. barrel. If you end up liking it that way, you can buy a barrel, a handle, age it to give it a little more oakiness undertones of your favorite cheap brandy, yeah. flavored brandy, and then... Yeah, nice and we have a lot of uh, brandy cocktails um, yeah. that we could try out um, that actually call for flavored co uh, brandy. So we'll we'll check it out. But what? What did I do? He picked snorted. Anyway, that was funny. Let us I'm know. Very mature. And was I going to make an immature joke? Uh, let us know what you um, 
think about uh, this peach brandy if you've ever tried it or peach brandy in general flavored brandies um, I think that that's just the niche kind of like flavored whiskeys you got to be in to like yeah. it, but um, well and they're generally meant for mixing yeah yeah um, because of the potent flavor so tell us what you think make sure you do hit that like and subscribe it means a lot to us and we will see you tomorrow for whiskey cheers cheers